when you look at the back of the display, you want to take out these three screws. Uh, it's a Torx head. And once those three screws are out, then what you'll do is you'll work away at the gasket right here. Uh, I used a small flathead screwdriver and just slowly just try to put it in and just pry away until the screen pops out. So the EMR comes apart, you know, glass, and another piece of glass below it. Take that apart, and then just be careful when that comes out. And there's your EMR display. Once you get to this stage, what you want to do, it'll probably look something like this. You want to get right in here, and you want to just separate a little bit of the glue, nice and slowly, until you're able to pry up, just like that and then pry up some more and pry up some more. Now you want to start back here, right below the EMR, right around the 50 or 5,000 mark, and just do it a little bit. And as you peel it back, there's gonna be glue holding that together. I just rub this around and around until you can get about that much access, just like that, okay? Now this one's already clean, unfortunately. Um, made sure this actually worked before I wanted to make a video. But what you see the square here, that's a sensor for your LCD screen. And what's gonna happen is this is filled up with dielectric silicone and it's, I'm assuming it's to keep the moisture out, but it starts to conduct and it grounds out these cables. Uh, on my is a w orange wire that comes off the alternator to tell the uh, LCD screen where the engine's running. Anyways, what you wanna do is you wanna clean this out. Um, I used a variety of tools. Mine was pretty thick, the silicone I've seen on here. So I cut it away with a razor blade without damaging anything. You can use a sharp Q-tip just cut on an angle, that works really nice, and it really shouldn't damage too much, just cleaning in everything. Really, you wanna focus on this area, but I cleaned the whole square off. And then, um, to finish off, I used a Q-tip, and I just cleaned it up with a little bit of acetone, just like that, okay? And when that is cleaned up, this should go back together quite nicely, just like that, nice and square, and put her back together, plug it in, and your display will work. Now. Here we go. And there's your display working perfectly. Now I've heard some reports where people say that on warm days their display will work fine, but on cold days it kind of fades out. I believe this repair will fix that as well. Okay, so good luck. Now, now while we're at it, may as well give it a little. 